The key of B flat has two flats. It's got that B flat, of course, and then E's are also flat. This one's a little tricky. Right hand's gonna start with the second finger on B flat and immediately cross the thumb under to C. So two, one, two, three on the E flat, cross thumb under to the F, one, two, three, four. And just make sure that all the fingers hit the same notes on the way down. So four, three, two, one, cross to the third finger on E flat, three, two, one, two. Left hand's gonna do three, two, one, then cross fourth finger to the E flat, three, two, one, finally just cross over three. So going down, just put that thumb back down on A. So three, one, two, three, fourth finger on E flat, one, two, three. And when you put the hands together, it's really helpful to visualize that for this E flat, the right hand is gonna be doing third fingers in both directions, and the left hand is gonna be doing fourth fingers in both directions. Now try as in tonality. For the one chord, we have B flat. The two chord is C minor. The three chord is D minor. The four chord is E flat major. Five chord is F major. The six chord is G minor. The seven chord is A diminished. And then we're back to the one chord. Thanks for watching. As you know, making music is not all about practicing scales over and over again and memorizing the triads and tonality. You need to understand what a scale really is, how it defines a key, and how those keys give context and emotion to the notes and chords of a song. This can help us understand the chord progressions of the songs we really love, transpose them into new keys, and even write our own. If this sounds interesting to you, you might enjoy my course, Keys to Chord Progressions. It's practical music theory that just makes sense. I put a link down in the description, so check that out and have an awesome day.